Hey guys, today we're doing an unboxing on what is arguably probably Samsung's most underrated product that they showed at Unpacked. It is the Galaxy Watch 7, the standard one, not the Ultra. So we it's a Samsung up here, and there's the watch and Galaxy Watch 7. And I got it in a 44 millimeter size. And as you can see, for most of my videos, I always have a Samsung watch. I have the Galaxy Watch 5. So I figured decent upgrade, you know? We got better health sensors and we got a faster processor from the watch 6 you know yeah so those are the upgrades from watch 6 and yeah uh, oh and the slimmer bezels too those will be nice i think mainly for me it'll be the battery life and the better health tracking are the main things i'm most excited for so oh sorry the better bezel design and the better health tracking the battery life i don't expect to be that much better than this you know this is about two years old but the battery i don't think has degraded that much all right without further ado let's get on to it on this side we have the size which is 44 millimeter the same size as my watch 5 the top we got nothing Ooh. and on this side we just have samsung galaxy watch 7 and on the bottom we have nothing it feels very weird to say galaxy watch 7 i feel like this one just came out personally and on the back here we have some information it's a bluetooth wi-fi gps model not the lte and just a disclaimer you need a phone running at least android 11 which most people probably have ideally and we have down here just a recommended watch size and at the bottom there we have like the serial number barcodes etc at the very bottom and we'll pull the two tabs from up here and at the very bottom and get this watch open all right so we are gonna open the galaxy watch 7 boom oh oh <laughs> so in here we got nothing and here we got oh we got the watch nice <laughs> And in here, uh, in this giant cardboard thing, we got a manual and... Oh, okay. From this side, at the bottom, on this side, we got the charger, which I believe is mostly looks the same. I mainly use wireless charging anyway. I never use the puck and it looks the same as the one I had before. Maybe the there's a chance it there's a chance that is more concave than the one on the watch 5 because the sensor is thicker than the one on the watch 5 so you know there's that um all right we'll clean this up and look at the watch itself all right and here's the galaxy watch 7 and let's boot this thing up all right we've got the galaxy watch 7 booted up here and there's a screen asking me to pair with my phone which i'm not going to do at the moment and we have this very interesting watch design it feels kind of weird i don't really know why they decided to go for this but yeah on the side we have the red accent power button and the back button all right to start off with let's show the new sensor design on the back here I'm trying my best to hide <laughs> all the serial, the serial numbers you can see the design here compared to the watch 5 it's a uh, very different looking <laughs> compared to my watch 5 design um and let's see about thickness i do have a case on my watch 5 but if anything i think the watch 7 is slightly thinner that's what it looks like to me anyway and of course the watch 7 and the watch 6 have the new design where you press this uh, all right let's It is not coming in. <laughs> All right, give me a second. All right, I got the straps off. It was not as easy as it seemed like it would be. I had to press them pretty, pretty hard, but I'll probably get the hang of it eventually. You can see here, there's this very interesting blue stitching, blue and orange stitching. And I can't, I can't quite tell what material it is. I want to say it's a string, but it's, it like, you can't really, like, it's not the string you would see. Okay, you can kind of tell there's the individual strands there on the string. But, yeah, um, interesting color choice. I found out from some reason why we have this new blue and orange accent. The same that we have on the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro is due to the Olympics, apparently. 
something to do to Olympics. Samsung did not clarify that at all. It's just something that I saw online, so there's that. Oh, the last thing I want to show is I got a free strap of the Galaxy Watch 7. So I'm gonna install that and show what it looks like. Over here, I got the fabric band in navy and we're gonna see what it looks like. I already opened the top here. Boom, and we got some instructions here showing how to install it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. All right, and we got the strap here. Oh, it feels nice, I like it, yeah. Even like on my Watch 5, right, I've always used this, um, just this cheap <laughs> silicon band that I purchased from Amazon and it's held up pretty well. It was like a two pack, I can't believe it one. But yeah, it's not the official one. I've never really been a big fan of the official Samsung bands. They've always been a little uncomfortable for my wrists. So hopefully this nice fabric, uh, fabric band will be comfortable. All right, we are gonna put this tape here and figure out how to install this. Oh, it uses Velcro. I did not realize that, but I guess that makes sense. And now I feel like a fool because I need to look at the instructions to figure out which end it goes to the top. So bear with me for a moment. All right, I figured out as per the instructions. So this strap part goes up here, as per the photo. So we're gonna turn this around and the side of the buttons, which is actually the bottom, if you look at it like this. Yeah, so the bottom is the part that gets the, that gets the, the short end is the, yeah. So you push this button in and ideally it'll go in easily. Yeah, so if you press this, you can just kind of see how the prongs get pushed in just a bit. So that's kind of neat. All right, we've got the nice fabric band installed and we're gonna put this on our wrist and see how it looks. Or on my wrist, I should say. All right, I finally got the Galaxy Watch 7 installed on my wrist and you can see it's a fabric band. I feel like this will get a little itchy over time, but maybe I'll get used to it eventually and it won't be as bad. But yeah, you can tighten it very easily because it is Velcro and it slides off. A um, little bit hard to take off, actually, as you can see, because of how everything is, like, yeah. <laughs> you can kind of tell how it's... Oh! Oh, because I'm supposed to pull from here. Not from up, not from here, but from here. Alright, okay. And even then, yeah. You can, you can tell how it looks. But yeah, this is how the Silver Galaxy Watch 7 looks with the fabric band. So the blue navy fabric band and the reason I got the blue one instead of the white one was because I thought the white one would stain more. So if you're watching this during the pre-order period and you're getting the Galaxy Watch 7 in silver, I would recommend the blue navy fabric band. Or you could always get, if you don't care about fabric, you could always get another pair of the basic sport band in a different color. It really is up to personal preference. But yeah, that's about it. Hopefully I will like this more than my Galaxy Watch 5, which is, you know, for the most part been pretty decent. And yeah, that is about it. I'll see you guys in the next video.